Well, while I've got scrupulously low remaining amounts of daylight left, we're gonna try to pound out this message that's been, uh, that, you know, I'm not even sure it's a message. It's just something that I really fucking strongly feel and believe in. <laughs> I want to talk about taking risks for a second. I want to talk about yin and yang, yin and yin and yang, and taking action versus letting the fucking flow of the universe, letting everything just flow, letting things happen to you, and letting what you want just magically fucking drop in your lap. Because I'm fucking sick of that attitude. It is not reality. That's law of attraction horseshit nonsense. And I'll tell you that a lot of things do just fall in my fucking lap, which is the irony. But, <laughs> by that same flip side token, if you are not going out and doing the things required to be courageous and take bold action, that forward momentum, that movement through the universe, the movement of your energy, the, pers <clears throat> the persistence of the fabric of your energy permeating reality. You have to embrace that and put that out there. That energy that goes out and disseminates itself into the universe, it's not as simple as, I wish for this and I envision this, and then it just plops in my lap. However, I have had that happen. So, it's a grand fucking mystery. And quite frankly, anybody who says that it is just black or white, or it is just this way or this way, doesn't know what the fuck they're talking about, because it is a mystery. We don't get this shit. We don't figure out this shit. Everybody thinks they gotta fucking figure it out. All this law of attraction fucking nonsense. Man, I've had I've had all kinds of things. I've had I've had things that I envisioned strongly that I wanted that didn't come to me for the longest time. And then I had to take painstaking effort and put in a lot of patience to get it. And then ultimately I got it. And looking back, it was like, oh, that's exactly what I asked for. I've also had things that I really needed that I just, I just put in all the work and it didn't work and then I just stopped caring and I said, this will show up when it shows up. And then a fucking miracle pops in my lap and I'm calling it a miracle because that's what it is. Even though miracles are commonplace when you begin to embrace the realness of reality that is your birthright as a manifestor, a manifestor God, because we are God. We are part of God. We are part of creation. We are God. We're the fabric, the essence of God. Made in the image of God, the Bible The Bible says. Not that I'm proponing one th way or the other. I'm just, I love to use poetic language that people love to identify with to drive home my fucking point, whether it borrows from Buddhism or the Bible or other, you know, whatever. Whatever fucking road, they all lead to the same place. All these different paths are trying to say the same thing. But I'll tell you that this law of attraction nonsense, here's the thing. Make sure we're still rolling. <laughs> I've had my camera die on me so many fucking times. Not that you give a shit. There is a balance. There is a balance required. But, see, by going out and doing these things and being courageous, taking risks, being bold in life, the yang energy, the action, going out and doing, you know? You just by doing these things you actually prepare yourself to receive those things that destiny would like you for you to receive but how do you know that it would have come into your lap if you hadn't gone out and done all the other shit first and some people would have been like well you just did this and did this and did this and wasted your time and this was destined to happen anyway maybe maybe not but what i do know is that if you sit around in your ass not doing anything holding on to this desire and attachment that doesn't do you no good either then your energy just sits there and festers you got to get it out there you got to be you and you got to be right you got to live you got to take these bold risks and actions not because they matter or even because anything will come of it but because you have to to be alive <laughs> because you have to be and you have to do to exist to maintain your sanity no 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 well, what's the point of sanity if you're not living? That's the point. You gotta live. You just gotta go out and do what you gotta do and take the risks that make you feel fucking inspired regardless of the fucking outcome, regardless of what happens because that is you feeding into your essence. That's who you are. You gotta do these things. You gotta do those things. Now, there's a lot of people who are big proponents of sitting around and doing nothing and meditating and the law of attraction, this will drop out of the sky 
Okay, great. You want to meet somebody else who just sits around and does nothing and waits for things to drop out of the sky? <laughs> or do you want to meet someone who's bold, relentless, courageous, takes risks, has a burning fire and desire, and wants the meat out of life? That's who I want to meet because that's who I am. Not one of these love and light goonies who want to sit around and say everything just fucking happens. And... No, we have a choice. We do have a choice. We can make things... And I... I've had times where, looking back, I really thought I was making the wrong choice, and so I should just wait around and you know sit around and wait for this to happen. But then I did it, and after a long string of things, you find that that actually was destiny. And you look back and you say, "Wow, it's a good thing I did that because look at what, look look at what ended up happening from that." But it's only by looking back that we can see how the bridge was built. It's only in. It's only by looking back that we can see how the bridge was built. In the meantime, we got to embrace spontaneity and not knowing what the fuck is going on. But the more you not give a fuck and do that and follow your heart, follow your essence, follow your nature, follow your being, get rid of all these plans. Oh, I'm going to do this and then not do this. Ah, I'm not going to do this anymore. You know, I'm just going to do this and leave it perfectionism. I got to have it look a certain way. I got to have it be this. I deal with this all the time as a create with my creative stuff. You know, my, my fucking poetry page and, oh man, I'm just going to let that sit there. You know, that's really powerful. And, but then I got something else I want to say. At some point, just get rid of all the fucking perfection nonsense. We're here to live and grow and be and expand. And to be authentic means that you have to embrace imperfection and flaws and reveal all those things. See, I have no idea how this ties to whatever I was saying before, but this is true. <laughs> you, we'll rant for hours about fucking authenticity, fucking, fucking authentic shit, the fucking realness, because it's so fucking lacking in this culture that has tried to remove all semblance of it. I like to bring the dark side of the coin, okay? Sorry, kids. All the love and light nonsense. You can go to about a thousand other channels for that, a thousand other places, but it's time for me to speak the truth which is the darker nature of reality as well as the light you can't have one without the other if you do you excise vital parts of your being you excise your wholeness you you deny your wholeness by denying the darkness by oh everything has got to be positive vibes positive vibration good vibes only when i see a good vibes only shirt i want to rip it off and fucking burn it because it's bullshit it's actually preaching the very thing it's against whatever it's actually saying the opposite just like these fucking signs at planet fitness non-judgment zone but you can't do this and you can't do this and you can't oh so it's actually judgmental the people who do all those things <laughs> we're not judgmental zone but we judge people who do x x and x and x you can say whatever you want here but you can't say this and this and this because it might offend people because this is a safe space well it's not really safe is it it's a fucking prison <laughs> Oh my, the words, and the words, the words that create prisons, the mental realities and concepts that people engineer to enslave us, that our minds engineer to enslave us. You see, trying to wrap life into a box and say, I can only do this. I can only sit here and meditate and draw things to me and be, be the vibration of what I wish to attract. God, I've been being the vibration of what I want to attract for a long fucking time. <laughs> and uh, look at what it fucking got me into. Anybody who follows my art, if I can even call it that, it's not really art, see? It's just shit that comes out of me, out of my heart, out of my soul, out of my being. I can't control it. What is that? Is that art? I don't know what that is. But, uh, you know, it's attracted a lot, of, a lot of good and a lot of bad, but it's not really good or bad, is it? A lot of pain, a lot of desire. But if I were just sit around trying to be something I'm not, I'm not sure that would attract what I want either. So, you know, I'm going to go the other way with it. <laughs> Thus, as we all should go the other way with it, why don't we embrace the darkness? Why don't we embrace the negativity and the bad vibes? Because when you do, that is the gateway to your freedom. That is the gateway to your liberation. Embracing the darkness. Embracing those things. A bird just shot right by. Thank you. Thank you.
It is in your darkness that your greatest power is found. By everything you try to be and everything you try not to be, you are actually getting in your own way. You are actually standing in the way of your own perfection by trying to not be imperfect. Your imperfection is already perfection. There is no perfection. I've said this shit before, but you know what? It's so vitally important in this age of perfection, in this age of image and looks and shallowness, the Instagram era, where everything is about how everything fucking looks. What are you good looking or not? All about the aesthetic, and it's not even deep aesthetic. About shallow bullcrap. In this fucking era, we need this message more than ever. People need to hear this shit. You can't whitewash, and you can't blackwash either. Everything is a gray. Truth is gray. Truth is nothing. There is no gray. Get it? There is no spoon. You have to be real. You have to be authentic. That may mean people don't like you. You might not like what I fucking have to say. <laughs> you might not like the truth. You might not like the darkness. But it's there, regardless, festering away your shadow side, your shadow self. That is who you really are, man. Now, I'm not saying all that shit that comes up like, oh, I'm... No, 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 no. All the violent stuff. I'm not saying you actually want to do those things. I'm saying... You gotta peel that away to see what's really beneath. Only when you remove the curtain to see the brick wall at the back of the curtain, then you see the man who's dancing behind the curtain. Guess what? It's you! <laughs> You're the one pulling the strings. You're the creative director. You. And the demons who try to lie to you and get in the way and say, Oh, this and this and this and this. No, no, don't look behind the curtain because those demons are bit those demons are not behind the curtain. They are the curtain. Don't look behind the curtain because when you do. Your demons lose their power over you. They can't be fed anymore because they have lost. They've lost their power. When you name the demon, the biblical text says, it loses its power. Why is that? In fact, that's a that's a common witchcraft, spirituality. That's an ancient pagan belief, you know, far ancient. When you name it, it loses its power or you gain power over it, right? Why is that? Why is that? Because when we look at dead in the eye and take it in for what it really is and look at it for what it really is, unafraid, when it loses the fear, it loses the power. Had a Voldemort fucking operate. He who must not be named. Man, I'd be like, fucking Voldemort. <laughs> fucking Voldemort. What the fuck are you up to again, man? <laughs> fucking Voldemort. If everybody just got around saying his name and laughing at him, he wouldn't have been nearly as fucking powerful as he was. I don't know why people gave such so much of a shit, you know? If all the wizards came together and fought Voldemort, he'd stand no fucking chance. I don't really remember the books or the movies much, so I don't know if I'm making a decent point or not. But the point is, name it. Name it, man. Look it dead in the eye and name it. Once you do, that it loses its power. But you're afraid to name it. <sighs> Those things you deny... Eat, eat you away inside. They're haunting you because they are they are where you need to go to find your light. This message has gone on too long or something. I, I don't want to talk about demons and names and nameology. That's not what I want to talk about. I'm probably about to lose batter. Yeah, I'm about to lose. Look. Embrace balance. Stop being in denial. Dark and light. Every fucking spiritual teaching that's legitimate says the same fucking thing. It's all 